Hello, everybody, and welcome to HTML in one hour. This is the first lesson of about five or six lessons, and it's called It All Starts With Eight Opening Tags. My name is John, and I'm from OneHourAcademy.com, and I'm going to try to teach you in one hour or less how to make a basic web page, or website, rather. So let's take a look at the first eight tags. Now, when I talk about tags, what I mean are these little pieces of code that are surrounded by these triangular brackets. Okay, when you load something like this into a web browser, whether it be Firefox or Explorer or my favorite, which is Google Chrome, it will take these tags and interpret them so that it knows how to display a web page. Basically, what a website designer is doing is using this language called HTML to describe to a web browser what they want the page to look like. Okay, so when you see these eight tags here, and these are the ones that have these triangle brackets around them, what I really want you to do is take a look back and take a look at it this way. So the eight tags actually make up what we call our first four basic sections of a website. Okay, so the first section, HTML, is section one, and then section two is what we call the head section, title is the third section, and then body is the fourth section. Notice each tag has a partner at the bottom of each section. So with HTML, we have a partner at the bottom, which is forward slash HTML. Okay, this defines the beginning and the end of each section. So we have the same thing here with head and slash head, title slash title, and body slash body. So the eight tags put together really define four different sections. Let's talk about each section in a little bit more detail. Starting with HTML. So you can see at the very top and at the very bottom, we have HTML and slash HTML. All web pages begin and end with these two containing tags, and everything else is in between. Section two is the head section. It's the only section that actually contains another section. Okay, If you get into some more advanced uh, website design, then if you're going to do some JavaScript, you might put some of that in this section as well. The title tag which is the next section, which is contained inside the head section, whatever you put inside there will appear in the top blue bar or status bar of a web page. So you know when you load up a web page and the page tab comes up and it's got some information about the site? Well, that information is pulled from the title section of a web document. And it's actually very important that you title your pages properly because eventually if you wanted to upload these to a server and you're hoping that somebody might find you on Google or something like that, this is part of what Google looks at. There's other things as well, but, but title definitely is something that gets listed in a search result when you're searching for something. So choose your titles wisely, make them something meaningful, and never leave them blank. The fourth and final section, which is also the biggest and most important section, is the body. And as you can see, everything here will appear on the page. So really what the person's going to see on the actual page when you load it up is the information that is in here, in the body section. So once you set up these eight tags, the rest of your work pretty much is going to go in the body area because that's the part that only shows up on the page. A lot of people get mistaken and think this title area is going to be on your page as a title. This is not going to be on your page. See this screenshot here where it says sample.htm? That's an example of a title. Now this is Notepad, which is the program we're going to be using just for the first lesson to get your feet wet, and then we're going to load something a bit more advanced called Aptana Studio. But I think for a first web page, it's good to start with something really simple. I'm assuming you know where to find Notepad on your computer. It's normally under Start Programs Accessories, so hopefully if you can find it, we're going to follow this little piece up with a live demonstration of creating our first basic web page. And most of the work we're going to do in the, in the lessons to follow are going to be in this body section here. Let's talk a little bit about save, saving your web page. So if you're going to use Notepad for, for something simple like a simple web page, when you go to save it, you've got to change it because it's normally going to say save it as a text file. So you want to change that and drop that down to say all files. And then you're going to call it something with a .htm or HTML extension. By saving it with this extension, you're telling your computer that this is a web page. And then it'll be recognized by a web browser. So if you're going to save it into some place like the desktop, that's where I like to save things to begin with usually when I'm just trying something out for the first time. That way I can easily find them. So once you save it, it'll appear as an icon. Now, depending on the browser you're using, and on my computer, um, Google Chrome is the default browser. So when I double click this file, Google Chrome is going to launch and this web page will be previewed in Google Chrome. And it'll look something like this. Okay, so 
This is a very simple web page. All it says is all content goes here. And this is based on this sample here. So notice this part where it says all content for web page goes here. That's really the only part that you're seeing when you go to preview on this page. Fast forward. Okay. The other thing that's worth noting is normally up here you're used to seeing a web address like www.something.com. Okay, but this also can be used to read a local HTML file that's coming off of your computer. And it even shows you the path where it's finding it. So I saved this on my desktop. So that's where it's going to find the sample web page. So now what we're going to do is we're going to switch from PowerPoint to a live view of Notepad. And we're going to create this web page together and we're going to preview it. So hold on to your seats. That part will be coming up very shortly. So we're back looking at a blank Notepad file. And if I go into here, I can start typing my HTML tags. So the first one, if you recall, is HTML. Now, HTML, the language, is not case sensitive. So it doesn't care whether you put things uppercase or lowercase. I like to put my tags uppercase because it makes them stand out above and beyond the content that I'm going to create. I'm going to press Enter a couple of times. And just so I don't forget, I'm going to put in the ending tag right away. So now I can go in between and start building the other sections of the web document. So we'll put the head section in. Make sure I follow my rule. And slash head. In between there goes title. And slash title. Okay. Not only is HTML not case sensitive, it's also not what we'll call line sensitive. What I mean by that is it doesn't care whether all of these are on different lines or if they're all on the same line. So in theory, I could go like this and I can create an entire web page on one line and it would look exactly the same whether I did it like that or spread it all out. I could also press enter dozens and dozens of times and it still wouldn't appear any different on a web browser. So keep that in mind as you're going through this. Now obviously there are some tags that you can use to space things out in the body and we'll get to those in a later lesson. But for now, what I'm going to do is spread these out a little bit because a good website designer always tries to structure their document in such a way that it makes it easier to read. So I'm going to indent my title just like that, hitting the tab key. And again, it's not going to affect anything in terms of the appearance of the website, but it just makes for good style. So I'm going to put a simple title here, which is just my first web page. Let's fix that up a little bit. Okay, and the other section that we need, which is very important, is the body section. Like I said earlier, the body is the most important part of the web document. So from this point forward, everything we do is going to be in here. In every new page that you create, you're going to start with these eight tags looking exactly like this. And we'll just focus on putting the content in the body from this point forward. So to finish this lesson off, I'm going to put just a very simple sentence and then we're just going to save it and make sure that it works. So I'm going to say hello from my first web page. Okay, so now to save it, I'm going to go File, Save As, making sure that we change this to say All Files, and we're going to save it as, as something.htm. So I'll just call it mypage.htm, and I'll save it. Okay, so it's appeared on my desktop, and if I double click and launch it, I'll, I'll bring it over so that you can see what it looks like. So this is Chrome launched with my web page. Okay, and you can see a, a few things here. So of all the stuff that you see here, the only things that actually appear are the information in the body tag right here in the body, and the title tag up here shows the title here. Now I can quickly add a few things to here and save it. And then if I want to see it live on my web page, I can just hit the refresh button. So let me just try that. I'll add one more sentence. This is another sentence. Okay, and I'm going to save it. Actually, just to show you, I'm going to press enter a few times so that it's way down below. I'm going to save it. And over here, I'm going to hit refresh. And there's the new addition that I made to my web page. Notice that even though it's several lines below in the body in the HTML document, 
it appears right beside the other sentence. And like I said earlier, earlier, there's ways we can fix it so that we place it differently. But for now, I just wanted you to realize that just pressing enter in, in a web document doesn't mean it's going to affect the spacing on the web page. So that's it for our first lesson. In the next lesson, we're going to install a more high potent program to build web pages with. Notepad is kind of an amateur way to go, but it's a good way to start. So hopefully you learned the basics of website design or web page design. The next lesson, we're going to ramp up our abilities by using a program called Aptana Studio. So what follows next is a lesson on how to install that program, where to find it, and then we'll continue with the rest of our lessons in Aptana. This is John from One Hour Academy. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you back for lesson two.